Hello, what is up? My name is Ben. Ray Williams, one of the greatest powerlifters of all time, has totaled one of the biggest raw squats ever at 490 kilograms and put together a massive total of over 1,100 kilograms. No one thought they'd get close to him. He was an untouchable in the powerlifting world. Any, any competition he went to, he won. It was as simple as that. No one else was relevant. It was a fight for second place. Ray was the top dog. Um, and then he had an accident just before Worlds. Something happened. He lost a lot of weight and he has never really recovered. And we thought Ray's records would be there at the top for a very long time. But one person has recently just been blowing up more and more and more. Jesus Oliveras of America has come out of nowhere and he is absolutely insane. Definitely one of the strongest men on the planet, no doubt about it, and potentially a future world record holder by a massive margin. This guy could go on to total numbers like no one has ever seen before. He's young, I think he's 23 years old, so he's still a junior, I think, qualifies as a junior, if not 24, but in that region where he has so much growing potential. Recently, he did a meet, IPF conditions, so super strict. They make you squat to the floor. They make you pause your bench press. They make you pause your bench presses for like half a decade. Like honestly, the rules are so tight that if they, he does a lift and gets three white lights, there's no complaining. That lift is a good lift. I don't care who you are and what your standards are. The numbers I will go through now because they are mental. 450 kilogram squat in knee sleeves raw full walkout it's just incredible we're talking a thousand pounds worth i think it was 990 but it just went up in a blink like there was clearly so much more there it's actually quite scary then moving on to bench press 257.5 kilograms nearing a six plate bench press with a pause with a pause and with a long hold at the top again it flew up a little bit of sticking a little bit of a sticking point at the top but that was it like really nothing to worry about super easy like this whole meet for him was like an rpe 8 if not lower on some lifts then coming up to the deadlift 402.5 kilograms an IPF world record. So that's on a super stiff bar, which makes a huge difference when you're lifting that kind of weight. If you use a deadlift bar and you're deadlifting over 300 kilograms, you get a good amount of bend, which means it's higher off the floor. With a stiff bar, it's dead straight, no forgiveness. And what happened with that? It flew, like Superman flew. Yes, bigger guys tend to have grip issues, and that may be a limiting factor later down the line. But at the moment, he's looking so, so, so strong. If I was a betting man, I'd put so much money on the fact this guy will get a new raw world record, uh, both in the IPF uh, at Worlds and in any untested uh, meet. Because what he's doing, he may even beat the raw with wraps total. That's how strong this guy is. There's Dan Bell, who's the untested world record lifter in both knee sleeves and knee wraps. And I believe he's 20 kilograms off Dan Bell's raw with knee sleeves world record. And again, as I mentioned, that was on a monolift with no walkout on the SWAT. And then also a deadlift bar, which gives you a lot of uh, extra bend in the bar. So, <laughs> it's just scary. Honestly, it is. The future of powerlifting. I mean, the level just gets raised and raised and raised. And uh, it's truly scary what people are going to be lifting 10 years from now. If you haven't seen him, check him out because he's really, really progressing. Uh, it wasn't too long ago he was like just going over the 1,000 kilo mark in the total. So now he's over the 1,100 kilo mark. Uh, it's just gone by in a blink. So really, really keep an eye out for him. If you've enjoyed looking at these lifts, follow for more powerlifting, strength content, and even some bodybuilding stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Congratulations, Jesus. See you later.